It's time to dust off your favourite chair and sit in front of the big screen TV. Get a drink in your hand because it's five o'clock somewhere. Your number one host, the thunder from down under, a man on a quest to make money for beer. Sparring DK presents... Rejected Regen Rebuild Newcastle United. Hello and welcome back to Rejected Regen Rebuild here with Newcastle United sitting in 13th position. We've got our first win on the board. That's the main thing and uh, things will start to turn around. Hopefully that big signing of Jasper Koning seems to ignite at this side a little bit. But the transfer window is not shut. And I'm kind of contemplating just going and uh, picking up a couple more players just so that we've got some depth in this squad. Uh, there's only really one place I'm seeing goals that are going to come from and that's Koning. So... Gonzalez, we'll have to wait and see what we can do with him. He's definitely very good on the ball. He just can't finish for some reason, but maybe that will come with time. We'll have to wait and see. But I think we probably need to sign another striker if possible. Um, and we're desperate for a, a backup left back for Bergman. Uh, whether that comes from the youth academy, there's nothing really there on the transfer list that we can bring across. Um, so we'll have to make some decisions here going into transfer deadline day. But before that, we've got a game coming up against a freshly promoted Nottingham Forest. So let's get into today's episode and let's get uh, another player for you guys to upgrade at home. Right, so let's get a player upgrade in for Richard Dick Johnson. If you want to make any changes to his number or his kit, let me know in the comments section. Of course, thumbs up on the ones you like. Uh, check the numbers on the screen. Make sure the number's not taken that you're trying to utilize, and we'll get him upgraded in a future episode. Good luck. Right, the first game of today's episode, Newcastle United hosting Nottingham Forest here at St. James Park. Yappy starts in at the midfield. Fredrickson still at central defensive midfield, but we may need to... Maneuver things around in this squad and maybe get some position changes if possible. Um, you know, that might be a little bit tricky now that they've got so far into their rating. It can be hard to uh, twist them over, but we'll see what we can do. Uh, Bergman's still the captain. Suarez gets another crack between the sticks. Let's see if we can get some points here against sixth place, Nottingham Forest. Right, ladies and gentlemen, back here at St. James Park. and Well, a tough start to the season here for Thor Gunnarsson, but the first three points are on the board. And we'll be looking to double that today by getting a victory here at home against Nottingham Forest. Let's get into it. Good from De Wolf. Ruba plays it off, and here is Ignacio Montoya. He's got a bit of space to run. His men working their way to the box. He drives it deep, and there's a header from Akuma. It's gone wide. It will be uh, a goal kick. Good from Akuma. Finds Yappy. That's Bacconi just trying to. Weave through the traffic, flicks it out now. Kuma back inside. Coney takes a beautiful touch, and it's a really good block from Patrick William. Oh, good from Adam Yap. He gets stuck in the Ivory and works his way down the wing. He's got a ball inside here. He chips it over the back. It's cleared away. Only as far as Akuma, the skilled pass, lays it off for Gruber. Two touches. Back to Fredrickson. Side Adam and Yappy takes the touch, has a crack, and Sergio Rico with the save. Good from Bergman. He knows football. It's been to the big stage and he'll want to be there again. Laid off. Coney plays it forward. Has Gruber on the charge. Gruber shoots. Sergio with the save. And well, somehow they've managed to keep that in. Jimmy Laxon trying to push his way forward, but he's been off ball and he can chew. We'll have to push back here. Johnson for Nottingham Forest, plays it out wide, yanked up. Colano gets around Mason Scott, they've got the advantage here. Yanked up, Colano, Scott with him, can't hold him up. Yanked up on the ball, a load up as they try and angle themselves inside. Good from Scott. Gruber finds Fredrickson, he'll lay it off now, Adam Yappy. That's the push going forward. He's going to need Akuma in support. So he has to take it on himself now. Brings it inside for Akuma. Akuma in the box. Chips it over the back, but not enough purchase on it to get it over the goalkeeper. Yappy. Kony. Drives his way forward. Has the opening. Jasper Kony! 1-0 Newcastle United. Jasper Kony is the goal now. Is what we needed to break it open. The man has been to Barcelona. And now he's back 
here in the Premier League. The Dutchman flies through, uses that burst of speed, and it's a good class finish. 1 0, Newcastle United. Good from Jimmy. Oh, ref, that's a soft free kick, mate. Holding for a set up 34 yards out. He's chipped it forward here. Fredrickson, that's an interesting set piece. Late inside, Mason Scott gets a block on. Grubert fires forward. That's a lot of coding. Montoya, who we haven't seen a lot of today. Here's Gruber. Coney. Adam Yappi. Plays one forward. Coney. Oh, beautiful. Oh, Jasper! Let's go! 2 0. Jasper Coney, welcome back to the Premier League, son. Living in the shadows of Al Lewin. Johan Schultz. Left for a big opportunity at Barcelona. He's back here now in the Premier League. And already making a statement, his fourth goal of the season, and he's just done the defender here brilliantly. A good touch, a good finish, and that's 2 0 to Newcastle United. Kuma, Yappy. Oh, he's played a hospital pass there. Blackson gets in, DeWolf flicks it on. Gruber punches one through on the outside here for Yappy. He can just look inside here, lays it off for Kuma on the charge. It's Oh, he's missed! Mitsuharu Akuma. Served up, but uh, he's gone wide. Well, there is the halftime whistle. Newcastle United gets stuck in. It's two goals to nil. Akuma again, starting to get involved. A little touch. Gruber. Montoya. Inside. Coney turns his man. Jasper! Oh! It's filthy! And when you've come through Academy, the Thor Goodison Academy has got himself a hat trick here. Five goals for the season. It's five in two games, I think. And he's uh, showing that touch of class. And that is a quality finish. He's learned a thing or two in his career. And it's all on show here today. 3 0. Finds a Kuma. Kuma whips it deep for Coney. Oh, looking for his fourth. Oh, Yappy gets the touch, plays it forward. Here's Jasper, four on the cards. Oh, he's missed. Okay. Tiring a little, not composing himself, probably living in the moment of a hat trick. He could have had four. Right, three changes. Uh, Dick Johnson's going to come in on the right hand side for Montoya. He's been very quiet. Luna's going to come in at central defensive midfield uh, just to test him out there, get some fresh legs. And uh, we made one other change. That is Phil in at right back for Scott. Works his way back inside. Doesn't really have a target to pass to, but eventually finds Yappy. Back to Luna inside. Coney works it, lays it off. Adam Yappy! 4 0. With his debut goal for Newcastle United. And just putting on a bit of a clinic now. So, uh, starting to come to terms with the formation and what's required of them. And Koenig with a good little offlay here. And a good finish from Adam Yappy. The Ivorian midfielder gets himself a goal. 4 0. Koenig finds Johnson. Feels around, looks inside, still. Maneuvers from Johnson. Laid it off for Gruber, but he's been taken out. It will be a penalty here. And a chance to go 5 0 for Newcastle United. Yellow card. Kuma stands up. And he puts it in, it's 5 0. Kuma gets his third goal of the season. And it's a good finish. Oh, Jesus. He's got a bit about him here, Akuma. <laughs> Coding just pushes him over. None of that shit, mate. Celebrate with the team. Well, they get him up. 5 0 Newcastle United. Well, the Thorn Gunnison effect is kicking in. Block from Langston it. Ian Forrest in injury time. Come on, Suarez. Langston did well. Luna punches it forward, finds Coding. And somehow he weasels his way through the traffic. Fires this one forward. It's a tough run for Johnson. 
that should just about be the whistle. And this has been a big performance from Newcastle United. Five goals to nil. Coning with his first hat trick. Well, 15 shots to two. Thor Gunnison methods are kicking in here. And Adam Yappy gets a perfect 10. Right, transfer deadline day. We've still got so much money, and I decided to bring back Lewis McEwen, the Scottish striker. Uh, only 71 rated, with, with some room to move in there, uh, hopefully some growth, and uh, just gives us another option. We've only got Gonzalez, McEwen, and, uh, of course, Koning. If Koning goes down, Gonzalez isn't scoring. We needed a couple more options, so I think McEwen is a good little purchase there. Only costs us $3 million from Real Madrid, and hopefully he can have a little bit of an impact here. Uh, the former Bolton man, now at New Newcastle United. Right, so I did a quick look into it. It looks like um, when I did the managerial change and made Thorgunison go to Newcastle United, which was before the end of the season, Oslish had signed his Leeds contract then. Um, so that's when he transferred on the first. Now, uh, that's let me buy him. So Oslish joins us here now uh, at Newcastle United, not playing for Leeds, so that's good to see. I didn't want anyone leaving Bolton without coming to us, so we've uh, fixed that up. It means Laxon goes to the bench at an 82, uh, but we could play him as a backup left back. You know, he can play all across that back line, which probably helps us out a little bit. Uh, we will have to give him some game time, though, but we've got options. Uh, Fredrickson there, the CDM. It's probably the tricky one for me, but whether, you know, Dwarf or Ozilish could push up into that position, we'll have to wait and see what pans out. So a couple of signings there. Um, we're still really looking for a backup left back, uh, whether that is Laxanen, but he's right footed. Uh, Ozilish is left footed, so I guess he could slip across there, but I'm not 100% sold on that. Uh, we'll have to wait and see how this pans out. A few hours remain in the transfer window. All right, with only a few hours remaining in the transfer window, uh, it's deadline day, and Amir Khan has been approached by Chelsea for 160 million. Well, you know what that means. You're not getting him, Chelsea. Let's see if we can get Amir Khan over. Right, so that's a fair signing. 170 million, I believe, for Amir Khan, but he comes in here to the first 11 now. And, uh, you know, we've got a reasonable squad to uh, compete with Bolton, you'd feel. Uh, still, the central defensive midfield could be a bit of an issue. Um, unless we go, well, we could change formation. We could look at a, a 4 4 2 or something. I mean, strength wise, maybe five at the back to play Laxanen. Um, we'll have to wait and see what. It really pans out here. Um, only three hours remain in the transfer window, but it just means I had to make that play. Khan wasn't going to Chelsea. We've got the money. If they're leaving Bolton, they're coming to Newcastle United. Right, so the transfer window is shut. So let's have a quick look through here. I mean, I have managed to sell all of the Newcastle squad. Managed to sell them all. I believe. Anyway, uh, Kasun we got for free. Fredrickson for free. Payne for free. Rotenberg for free. Uh, Thill for free, Wallers for free. Um, we swapped, did player swaps, whatever we needed to do. Laxon uh, was on the outer, so we've brought him to Newcastle United. Gonzalez has been picked up from Crystal Palace. Uh, Akuma brought from Juventus for 43.9 million. That was a fair bit of cheddar early on. And um, we don't really care about who got sold, but you can see them here. Slow it down if you like. Uh, we pick up Scott for 15.3 million from Godoy Cruz. Um, Bergman, well, Bolton wanted him gone. 31 million, that is an absolute steal. Um, what else have we got? Gruber for 25.2 million. Yappy for 5.5 million, absolute bargain. Uh, then we also pick up Luna for 1.2 million. Uh, Montoya for 57.7 million. That was the record transfer in Thorgunison's first window. Uh, but then we pick up Dwarf for 118.3 million and we just smashed everything. Um, Suarez comes in for 10.3. Uh, Johnson comes in for 2 million. Koning, well, I just did a straight swap for Demir, so uh, negative one pound there. Brilliant work. Uh, Kimi Kos comes in for 3.7. Uh, Zelinski for 6 million. Uh, Kang for 9.4 and uh, we sent a few of the youngsters out on loan as well that have just come up from the Youth Academy. Ozilish for 45 million from Leeds, McEwen for 3 million and then wow, transfer deadline day, we splashed the cash, 170 million pounds on Amir Khan and Decker is the last man to leave out on loan.
Right, so where does that leave us with the squad? 30 players, in fact. Uh, Suarez and Zielinski uh, will be fighting for that number one role, you'd feel. Bergman, our only registered left back and 83 rated. Uh, DeWolf at a 90. We bring in Ozilich at an 82. Fredrickson up one to a 72. Going to try and change him back to a central defensive midfield. I'm not sure how long that's going to take, though, um, because we've got quite a few centre-backs here now. Uh, Kang at a 74 and Laxanen at an 82. At right back, we've got Mason Scott up 1 to a 78. And Roger Thill up 1 to a 75. Need to give this kid some game time. He still has the potential to be special. Marcus Rottenberg, 69. The only registered at CDM at this stage. Uh, Akuma's up 1 to an 83 now. Kasun a 67. Hasn't grown. Uh, might try and change his positioning as well. Uh, Tobias Waller's up 1 to a 71. So uh, I guess that's our two left side players. Uh, the young lads go out. Lloyd Payne... Well, I've got him on a left-back training plan at this stage. So I can't see him getting any midfield time, but uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, Carlos Luna, I mean, he's attacking, but I'm kind of considering him to become a central defensive midfielder as well. Kimi Kosk has now made a move to the midfield, 73 rated now. Uh, Adam Yappi up one to a 73. We bring in the big man, Amir Khan. He is going to run the show in that midfield, you'd feel, 86 rated. Um, I mean... I if you really look at what he's got going on, six foot, 176 pounds, he could be a good central defensive midfielder. And it just said something like 200 weeks to convert him. So uh, I don't know, it's an option. Let me know in the comments who you feel should make that move to the, the deep line midfielder. Gruber's up one to an 80. Uh, Richie Johnson is 73. I might actually make him a right midfielder or a right winger. So we seem to be lacking on that side as well. And uh, with all these midfielders coming through, he may lack the time that we want him on the pitch. Uh, Montoya, the registered right midfielder at an 80 overall. Gonzalez, now he's got good skills. He just can't finish. So I'm contemplating pushing him back to a, a left winger player. Um, and that will give us three. And, you know, he can be that utility man across the front. Uh, Johansson, it was the only one that didn't get a move away. Uh, we signed Lewis McEwen. And, well, Jasper Koning doing bits up top. So that is the squad. If Bolton tries to sell anyone else before the next window, we will swoop in. Um, but, yeah, other than that, it's just Youth Academy players coming forward now. And let's hope that Newcastle United can have a red-hot crack. Second game of today's episode, we finally get to see the away kit in action. Khan will make his debut here today as long as well as uh, Ozilish. Um, so, yeah, I mean, the squad's coming along. They're playing five at the back. Let's look to... Continue this Thor Gunnison momentum with Newcastle United. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are on the road taking on Watford. Ozilish and Khan into the starting lineup. Well, probably didn't get as much opportunity did Khan at Bolton. And, uh, well, funnily enough, he's ended up here. And he'll be the, bit, the main man in the midfield, you'd feel. Now, Ozilish probably a little bit more reliable than Laxman, so our defence has been strengthened once again. Let's see what we can do here today against Watford in the all-new away kit. Oh, Dwarf gives one away. I know how Ozilish plays. They've had a lot of games together at the back. Since Scott to do some work. Gets in and makes the block. But Watford pressing and there is the ostrich. Straight in, finds Amir Khan and we're away. Amir Khan pushing his way through the midfield. He'll want to shine here on debut. Finds Koenig. To Gruber, back for Jasper Cohen and giving the opening. Oh, Diara, good challenge. Oh, Fredrickson's just giving it away, but it's a good save from Santi Suarez. Khan gets the touch, finds Akuma inside. Here's Cohen. Plays it off. Amir Khan. Oh, that would have been a debut. Santi Suarez off his line. Akuma plays this one forward. Cohen. Gruber, it's got Montoya here out wide. The Argentine drives his way here into the box, not quite the pace, and it's a good block from Rice. The corner for Newcastle United. Here comes Watford and DeWolf in there to make the tackle. Clutch tackle from DeWolf. The corner for Watford, a bit of a cat and mouse encounter this one. Fredrickson, challenge, Coney, Khan. Plays one forward, it's a good ball. Jasper Koning into the box, and there we go. Play through, Jasper Koning is lining up the Premier League. I think that's six for 
another season for Jasper Cody. Doesn't that green and gold look absolutely tremendous? Jasper Cody relishing first team football opportunities. That makes it 1 0 Newcastle United. Oh, there's a ball played through, but Suarez off his line. It's a good save from the Spaniard. Corner for Watford. Watford getting some shots, but Suarez is making some saves, and it's another corner here. This one's delivered deep and wide. Lead in. Bergman will get the clearance here and a chance to run. Akuma pushes his way forward. Uses that speed. Akuma flying. He's got coning deep. And uh, yeah, his crossing skill is yet to be uh, really recognised. Fredrickson and there is the halftime whistle Newcastle United have the lead through Cody Fredrickson does get the challenge finds Cody on the edge of the box bang turn on Newcastle United this man is on fire Johan who? Jasper Cody the flying Dutchman he's getting the job done well he started with Gonzalez he didn't provide anything but Jasper Cody is doing the business and Fredrickson is really doing a tremendous job at central defensive midfield, getting aggressive. And that leads to a goal. 2-0 Newcastle United. Another good finish from Jasper Koenig. Oh, Ozilish, beautiful work. He goes Amir Khan, darts his way through the midfield. Finds Gruber. Oh, tried to flick it on. He's a little bit slow, Gruber. We've seen that in our box-to-box -box midfielders in the past. Good from DeWolf. There's Khan, lays it out for Akuma. Akuma will look inside, looks for Cody. Gruber there, cleared away. The threat is there from Newcastle. 2-0 up, Fulgunison still trying to find out what works with this team. Fredrickson checks out for Laxon and he'll go to centre-back. Oslich going to central defensive midfield. A bit more pace from the Ostrich. Right, two changes, Thill in for Scott and Yappy in for Gruber. Skip up, drives forward, lays it through. Still comes Akuma, drives it for Kony. Balls for Montoya, Yappy. Back for Montoya, whips it in. Khan was there, Rojas comes out. We're into injury time. Bills around, still goes Kony, but a lot of players back. But there we go, three points on the road. Newcastle United starting to find their feet. And the Thor going to sit. Well, some good early saves from Santi Suarez. They had more shots, but we get the job done. Coney with a 9.1. Final game of today's episode, we're on the road and we're taking on Arsenal with their very random lineup with Saka in the midfield. They've got Lukaku up top now, Tierney at right wing. Uh, Omlin is the CDM, the small one, that's playing uh, middle centre back there. So uh, this could be interesting, but uh, for us, Thiel will get a uh, chance here at right back and Zelitsky is between the sticks. Let's see if we can take down Arsenal at the Emirates. Right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are at the Emirates to take on Arsenal and uh, hoping for another big performance here from Newcastle. Just need to build momentum. I think we've got a Bolton game uh, coming up in the not too distant future, so we'll want to be flying for that. Let's get into this one. Oh, good tackle from Ozilesh. Grub up. Plays it forward. Coney. Omlin with a good challenge. Montoya set something up here. Maitland Niles came through. Gruber throws in a big challenge. And here's Tierney. And Golly back to Saka. Gruber picked off Omlin. Well, he's like 87 rated. So uh, he's going to be a tough cookie to get one past. Well, Arsenal playing possession football. 22 minutes gone. They haven't resident a shot. But really got forward enough. And we pick him off there. Amir Khan to Fredrickson. It's the outside run from Bergman. Tierney with him though. We'll come back inside. Still goes Bergman. Finds Coney. Tried to lay it off. Omelin is uh, on a charge there. Playing centre back. Flick this one inside. Finds Gruber. Lays it off. Montoya has an opening. Ignacio Montoya. Good save from Leno. Bergman manages to keep this one in. Good play. Khan back out for Akuma. Akuma drives forward. Can he get something in here deep? He can from Montoya. It's picked away. Akuma finds Bergman. Finds Khan. 
That one's blocked. He might get another crack here. Blocked by Omelin. Arsenal come away. And half time, they've really held on to position. We've only had a handful of shots, and it's nil all. And Arsenal find an opening here. The Wolf gets back. It's enough to hold up the man in Robin Golly. He's trying to look for that cross in the box. All oh, of the defence all over the place. But somehow we find a way out to reset and defend again. Good from De Wolf. Bergman. And here is Amir Khan. Lays it off. Gruber drives his way forward. Lay it through. He's been taken out. We'll get a free kick here. Omelette is the man that is in trouble. Right, Akuma Gruber and Fredrickson checking out. Gonzalez Johnson and Kimmy Koss checking in. Khan's going to CDM. Gonzalez out to the left wing. Akuma needs uh, a bit of a break here. He's run a lot today. Maybe an extra striker can come up front. Maybe we can find a go-ahead goal. Phil Johnson. Khan gets it forward. Here's Kimi Kosk. Rides the bump. Pushes it forward. Laid off. And here's Johnson! Let's go! A master stroke from Thor Goodison. He's made the changes. He's trying things out. And Johnson comes through for his second goal of the season. Off the bench. And getting the job done here in the Emirates. Kimi Kosk plays it through. Corning with a touch and Johnson with a really good finish. The changes have worked here from Thor Gunnarsson. That's a good goal from Dick Johnson. And Kosk gets in, makes the challenge. And well, Newcastle United come away again. Three points on the road. They only had one shot for the game, but they were just trying to hold possession. Fredrickson gets an eight and a good game. Right, round three of the Carabao Cup has been drawn, and we've drawn Spurs, so that's going to be a tough little fixture. But I want to push through to this uh, because it gives us more of a chance of, you know, coming up against Bolton. They've got themselves Sheffield United in the third round. Right, look at this. We've moved up to sixth position. Bolton sit in fifth. Four wins, two draws. Still haven't lost a game, so uh, they're going well. But uh, Manchester United atop of the table. Uh, Bolton not as prolific without Thor Gunnarsson at the helm. Uh, so we've got Spurs up next in the Carabao Cup. And they sit in 10th. And then we've got Chelsea in the league. Uh, so some big games there. And then we move into October where we have Manchester United. Um, and then we have Bolton. So uh, big games on the horizon for Newcastle United. Thor Gunnarsson, Bolton not far away. We'll see you in the next one. I'm Sparring DK. It's five o'clock somewhere. And you have a good one. The Sparring DK channel now has Patreon, and if you feel like just going that little extra step to help, uh, you know, the channel grow, you can go across to the website, pledge your allegiance to myself, and uh, for $1 a month, you're basically putting it in a jar and allowing for us to go and buy some more beers and record some more beer drinking episodes. Thank you very much to the current lads that have gone ahead and supported the channel. Absolutely tremendous to see anybody willing just to give that $1 a month at this stage. I cannot thank you from the bottom of my heart. You you really will make a difference in the future. So jump across there if you're that way inclined to the Patreon channel. Sign up today and we'll see if we can get some extra beer drinking episodes for you at home. Now, if you are looking for some more content, we've got a couple of videos. One here, one here. And if you want to subscribe, there's a button right there. So go ahead, subscribe, and you'll be notified when the video...